Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Stack number 56. Let's encrypt. In this episode, you'll learn how to install Let's Encrypt on your server and how to create a cron job to keep the certificate current. If you want to code along, you'll just need to have a Rails app or actually any site deployed on a Linux server. Especially these commands are for Ubuntu. Running Apache. What is Let's Encrypt? Let's Encrypt is a free, automated, and open certificate authority. So for SSL certificates, here is now a free way that you can add that to your website. It is a nonprofit, so you may want to think about donating if you install this on your server. And here's a link to more information. They're a little over a year old now, and they've gotten some grants and lots of fundraising, but still think about donating. I recommend this mainly for sites that do not involve e-commerce. You're going to want the protections that come with a separately signed certificate through GoDaddy or other places if you're handling money on your website. If not, this is an excellent free alternative. All right, let's install Encrypt. SSH into your server, and then you'll run sudo apt get update, and then sudo apt get install python let's encrypt apache. Now I had to run a troubleshooting command that came up because I had just updated my system from 14.04 to 16.04. I think that may have been why I was a little wonky, but be sure to run the sudo apt get update and you should be okay. Here we are in the terminal and I've logged in. You see now that it's at 16.04.2. And now let's run that command to install. I thought it was all up to date because I had just done it. So, but I came across a little problem. So you see here it says, oh, you need to run this command instead. So I went ahead and I ran the command just like it said to. And then I got a couple of, you know, messages and prompts through this process. And I'm going to speed it up here for you. It actually took a bit longer than this. I know I need to upgrade Postgres. I'll do that at a later time. I got that when I was installing the new Ubuntu as well. I'm going to keep all of my settings the same, not install new. That override what I've already set up. So that happened a few times. And you see that I've sped this up quite a bit. So if you have to run this command, it will take a few moments. See there again, I'm just going to keep what I want. I'm showing you the whole process just in case it happens to you. I've just sped it up 200%. All right, now that's done, let's go ahead and try again to install Let's Encrypt. And this time it seems to work. So yet say yes. I want to install and take up just a little bit of space there. Not too bad. And again, I sped this up. It does take a few moments to get everything installed. And there it is. Now we need to set up the SSL certificate. You just need to run sudo let's encrypt dash dash Apache if that's what you're using. And that's what I mainly use. So that's what I'm showing dash D, and after every dash D, you can put the name of the domain names and any subdomains. So we have example.com dash D www dot example.com. So you want to put that all in one line for one certificate, and that's fine. Then you'll respond to the prompts. You'll enter your email address. You'll accept their terms. Then select secure, unless you really still need HTTP. You want everything to go to HTTPS. And I didn't read that part right away and I just clicked on easy. So that's what mine is set up right now. I'm doing just a static site as an example, but be sure to select secure. And then you hit enter to exit the prompts. All right, so here we are, I've pasted it in. Now I'm going to replace example with the real domain name, which is one from zero.co. That's actually a static site to promote our development agency. And I just moved to this server. And so it's one from zero dot co. Make sure to take off the con there. All right, and there we have. So I'm going to enter Melissa at Ruby Thursday, since you all know that email address. And then you hit enter to accept that. And then you hit enter again to agree to their terms. It takes just a moment to 
clear. So don't feel like you did something wrong. It does take a moment. Then here you want to tab down to hit secure. I didn't, but definitely tab down to hit secure and then you hit enter and then it's done. Now let's go test it. So I'm going to copy that link and go over to a new browser and it's going to check the certificate. Now this takes actually the longest amount of time and it will eventually give you a percent that it's complete, which is helpful. It refreshes every once in a while to show you what it's going to be. So when it gets to two, now I'm gonna jump ahead. Yay, it's done. But that took like three or four minutes. It was, uh, it was a long time. So you see that it's all good and that's what you wanna see. All right, and then you can hit enter again and it clears out, gives you a little bit more information, but it's done. One thing about Let's Encrypt is that their certificates only last 90 days and they actually recommend replacing it every 60 days. So that's a lot to manage. So you can include a cron job to do that for you. So that's what we're gonna set up. You'll enter sudo cron tab dash E, and then you'll select an editor. I usually select nano just cause it's easiest. And then you're going to enter the following line at the bottom. So this is going to check every day to see if it can be renewed. If it's too early, it'll just put in the log, hey, your certificate's okay. You don't need a new one yet. But when it comes around to 60 days, it'll say, yeah, okay, we can give you a new one. And it will auto renew for you with this job. Back in our terminal, let's run that cron tab command. I'm gonna select two for a nano and it opens it right up. I'm just gonna use my arrow key to go all the way down. It's a short file. And then I will paste in the renew command for let's encrypt control X to get out and Y to save. And we're done. Thanks so much for watching this Ruby snack. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to do so. You'll get extra special stuff in your email every week. If you are not subscribed on YouTube, click that big red button. You get the episodes just a little bit before everyone else. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.